High five! I did it. Good job! Well, the truck's still here, that's good. We're the last ones in the uh, parking lot here this morning. Uh, been a little bit of a drought here in Fernie, and uh, a lot of BC for that uh, matter for the last couple of weeks. We're not even gonna tackle the hill until noon. It's not even really worth going up till at least 10 because they're breaking scratchers off on the trail because everything is ice. It's above zero here every day and it freezes at night. Okay, we're here. Let's uh, let's check this place out. Let's see what the deal is with Fernie here. This is not your first time in the mountains. It's not, we have doubled twice before. But this is your first time piloting your own sled oh, in the mountains. Oh yes it is. So I picked an area that will be really easy. It's like the family area. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to scare, I don't like scaring new people. So we're gonna, we're gonna pick something easy today. Yeah, your goal is to get to the cabin today. Nothing to else. To we have a 16 kilometer ride into the cabin or I think it's something like that. So that's your goal for the day. Make it to the cabin Make and that cabin. is probably gonna be our day. Ow. Might actually have to put some tape on that. <laughs> you just carry tape in your truck? I carry tape everywhere. There's tape in the Alva, there's tape in the house, there's tape oh. everywhere, I'm pretty sure. Is that gonna work for you? Yeah. You're figuring out the handlebar height? Now that Sarah's ridden once and got the hang of it, uh, I know what I need to do. Couldn't stand up last time, they were too low. Yeah, that's okay. Find, find the spot it needs to be. I can't even move mine. Need them. Okay, so when you're talking to people on a slide, you gotta shut it off. So it's bumpier than shit on my ass, but my calves are on fire from my pool workout. You gotta stand up. Okay, you good? Let's carry on. You're doing good. Yeah, it's not scaring me. I just gotta. Oh, that's my good body. because like even just people who have never even really been on a machine, they they'll get freaked out over just like a little trail like that with a little edge. Oh, I'm not freaked out. I'm just trying to figure out my body. Oh, perfect. Then you're doing really well oh, yeah, compared I'm not to a lot out. of people. I'm just like, Stand, sit, stands, and I'm like, fuck. That's how it is, though. I know. Yeah. My sled's hot. We're going too slow, and it's really icy, so the scratches can't kick up uh, snow into the skid. Kill switch first. Use your body weight. The body that hurts like a You dick. can do it. You can do it. Harder. Okay, bring it out to where it locks up. Okay. Yep, perfect, yep. Doing good for a uh, chick who's probably spent a total of 20 minutes on a sled before ever. That is the hill. That's your first little hill. It is my it's first. so cute. <laughs> You stopped at it. Are you scared of it? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. It's gonna happen. Do you wanna get that thing up there? I'll help you. This is easy. Basically, all you're gonna do, okay. you're gonna stand up, because you'll have more control standing up, and lean the way, the opposite of the direction the sled wants to fall and steer. You'll, you'll figure it out. It's not hard. I'll, I'll help you. You can do it. This is a tiny hill. You can do it. Don't get psyched out by it. I know. It's, it's a, this is nothing. You can do this. You like, there's enough traction here, you should just be able to walk up it. See? Nothing to be scared of. And she's letting her chew. Good job! That was also my biggest downhill. Oh, that's your, oh, that's nothing. I know, but it scared me a little bit too, but I did it. You, uh, there's a lot of hills like that. I did it, I did really good. I heard you uh, getting rid of some horsepower there. Did that, because it was starting to slow down. I'm yep. like, hey, you gotta give her some juice. That's right, that's right, you got it right. Once it starts to slow down, you gotta give her some power. <laughs> Doing okay? I gotta put my neck in bad enough, I was going fast. I like trail riding. You that's like trail riding? That's much more, I'm good with that. Oh, okay, good. That's good to know. Yeah, no, I, I, that, I was totally comfortable with that. Oh, I good. I think that's the fastest I've ever gone. Good. I was going like 50. Good. That's the fastest 
You were going 50? I'm going like 50 or 60. Ooh, that's cruising. Go at a pace you're comfortable with. <laughs> and don't go faster than that. Okay. You did great on that thing. My average speed is fitty. That's fitty for your really, like your first or second time on a sled. That was really good. Oh, there's your little Audi house. Let's go uh, check out the cabin here in Sycamus. I forget, uh, I forget the name of it already. Except we're in Fernie. In Fernie. Yeah, let's <laughs> check out the cabin here in Fernie. <laughs> there's the steps. You guys loving your cabin tours? Well, let's uh, go check out the warming shelter here in Fernie. Got to take off the hater blockers. This is a nice cabin. Oh wow, look at this. This is a really nice cabin. Not that I know what cabins look like. This is a really nice one as far as they go. I was gonna say it looks beautiful. Wow, this is more than just a warming shelter. Don't worry, the boys here in Fernie, they got your back. They got the mustard ketchup relish. Beautiful view out the front here. All the trails kind of meet up here. We've never ridden here before. Rolling Hills Cabin, that's where we are. That's where we is, Rolling Hills Cabin. So all those trail junctions meet up right in front of us, right there. I would guess cat. You gotta learn your snowmobiles, that's a do. So our plan now is we're gonna carry down along this trail, the one we came in on. And apparently there's another uh, another warming shelter, a cabin or something right up the hill. Let me go check that out next. Here's we're at the other cabin, which is a uh, sea crate <laughs> with some windows in it. And this is like the hangout cabin, so we got like the old summits up here and everything. We're gonna go out that way. brakes basically when you're gonna go down and this will be easy because you won't be going too fast because there's lots of traction it's not that steep yeah but basically what you're gonna want to do is just point the skis straight yeah. or like on the trail and just touch the brake time to time like so if I don't you need any gas and I'm just gonna lightly tap my brake yeah you'll just you might actually find on that hill you need gas to get to keep moving yeah like I know that first little hill yeah. I, did, I needed a little bit of gas yeah sometimes even when you're going down hills on a mountain slide especially yeah you need to hit the throttle to go down I unless you're like in really deep snow and you could side hill through it and stuff like that but we're, we're not gonna worry about that today just point the skis straight and play with the brake. But I figured you did that for a reason. Like, okay, yeah. you can do this. I was like, she has to go up this hill. Okay, so you're not ready for that big hill over there yet. Uh, no, that looks a little long. No, no, no. You don't have to do it if you're not ready for it. Uh, it's it's not steep, but it's going to be long. It's long. I'm not sure if I'm ready to go for that long. No, you don't have to do it. All you got to do here is just, we're not very steep here, so just whip out to the right a little bit and turn and we'll be on our way. I, I figured you'd be able to stand on one side of it. <laughs> no. No. There you go. It's okay, being upside down is normal.
How was that? It was a lot better than I thought. I was psyched out at first. I was like, okay, this isn't so yeah, bad. Yeah, no, on that hill, it's like if you put on the brakes, you'll probably stop. <laughs> yeah, I, I used them a little bit. And then I was like, just for like the first little was only the C part. And then after that, I'm like, oh, you actually have to use gas the whole oh, way. So no, pro no problem then. No, no, no. Perfect. It was just that first little bit was steep that I did actually have to use the brakes. But after that, then it was fine. Oh, good. So nothing even freaked you out or nothing. No, the scariest part of the whole day was when the sled tipped on me. <laughs> That's not even that scary. <laughs> no, but it is when it's the first time a heavy machine falls on you. I guess, yeah. Are you stuck on hill? Are you stuck? Okay, well, I'll see you at bottom. Stop. <laughs> There's not, you're not in a dangerous place. Back with into the Alpha. How you feeling? Tired. Tired? You need a recharge? Yeah. Let's do a recharge. Just took a hop up to one of the notches myself here to give you my patented boomer end of the day view. Yeah, I'd never been here before, so kind of want to just hop up into a high spot and figure it out real quick. Man, you can ride everywhere. We were down over there where there's a cabin in the next valley. You can ride all this, everything over there. There is the power line down there. Uh, you can tracks on all those hills. Yeah, you know what? I'm into Fernie. All right, let's go regroup with our partner back at the cabin and see how she's doing. A little bit tired. That's the thing, if you are up in the mountains or you plan on bringing someone to the mountains for the first time, plan a short day. Or somebody who's never really been on sleds, plan a short day. They get tired quick. Were you sleeping? We're just going to the truck. Are you done today? I'm tired. That's okay. <laughs> you did really good today. I'm very impressed with how you did actually. So I'm happy to call her a day right there. This is one thing you'll come to learn about sledders is that no matter where you are, they stop beside you. <laughs> you could be, I was up there doing the end of the day view and I was getting ready to do my video and then all of a sudden five people come up and park around me. It's like, well, What's going on? <laughs> Why is that always the case? <laughs> it's so icy we broke a scratcher. Yeah, what the hell is it? What is this? Is this the good one? That's a good one. That one's all worn off. I got spare ones at home, but it's supposed to have like a big hook. That's not even gonna hook to the rail anymore. <laughs> yeah, that one you That's broke. That's the one we broke. Look at that. I've never actually seen them worn down like that. We're almost to the truck. <laughs> We made it. We finally made it to the truck. How was your day? My day was very good. You had fun time on snowmobile. I did. I tipped it. You flipped it. I flipped it. You got stuck. You I do all the things sliders do. A hill. I went up a pretty big hill for me. I learned a little hill. I made it to two cabins. Well, just so you know, for somebody who's never really even ridden a sled besides like that. Like Our 10 minutes last lake. weekend, you did phenomenally well. Okay. You did really well for a beginner. Trying not to get ran over by trucks. I've, good job on burning off a set of scratchers. I've never seen that before. Success. Good job. Well, yeah, you, you put some money into that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> 